So here I'm continuing the very slow run of the gas works. And I have to reverse direction here. Because the most efficient way of getting the train down there is to back it. That means I'll go really slow, of course. When I worked on the railroad, we had a speed limit of 10 miles an hour for backing, and I think that's still what most railroads have. Although, in this case, I'm actually taking it at 5. And the reason for that is that with my views here, I just don't have the visibility to go much faster. Which is in line with what would be expected in real life. You always take the safest course possible. Here I can visually see the factory buildings. I'm going to use the map view, actually, to decide when to brake. And unlike real life, braking is just as simple as this. That would have taken a little bit more effort on a real train or a realistic simulator. So here I load the cargoes into each car. You have to specifically specify the car and the cargo. So now I'm going to proceed forward out of here. Two shorts. And off we go. I'm still not going to go very fast because I have to negotiate all these switches and so on. And in real life there would be the additional concern of the hazardous materials on board. But you can see there's a great deal more realism in this than in Train Engineer, that's for sure. Even if it's not a proper simulator, you do have to negotiate the length of your train, you have to set the switches correctly, you can't just magically flip your train to go the opposite direction. So there are a number of crucial realism differences. It is a more realistic game, certainly, than either of the Train Engineer games. I have to make sure my switches are aligned again. Again, this was much simpler in Train Engineer, that's for sure. to the switch. Notice this is a stub end siding, so I would have to be more careful if I had a longer train. Now the exterior views, I should add, are F2 and F3. You can also do a walk around view with F7, and then F1 will put you back in the cab. This is designed to be a cab view game, though, just like the Train Engineer games. Even if it's not 
simulator it is first person perspective so three shorts I'm gonna back up again into the coke oven apparently it's what you're supposed to deliver the liquid oxygen to slowly into the steelworks here. It's already generated me a new customer there at the bottom. But I'm not going to actually do that one. Because I've already gone through two videos on this game that isn't even a real simulator. So when I deliver this cargo, this playthrough will be complete. Super easy braking there. Now I will deliver these and awkwardly it'll show you the cargo without you having the correct freight car selected. So I'm going to go back, not knowing that I didn't unload everything. And it's only 600 bucks in the account. That means I didn't unload everything. I needed to select the second. See, it doesn't work. You have to go to the second tank car, be specific about it. It's a little bit awkward like that. There it is, 1100 bucks in the account, and the playthrough is complete. So thanks for watching.